Today we will summarize what we have learned by studying a subject which Nikola Tesla first brought up and patented in 1894, namely the possible advantages of a two-stranded or bi-filler wire coil. Now what we have here, we have a wire coil which can be wrapped like monofiller, one strand, or bifiller, two strands. And here's what a bifiller pancake coil looks like. We have two strands wrapped around one another. Goes in one place, out the next. There's several ways to connect it up. And Tesla said what happened is, when you make electricity, most coils, like this monofiller coil here of 800 turns, have self-capacitance. So they, certain, they start to make a certain amount of electricity, and then they repel themselves and can't make any more. So to test that idea, we also made a bifiller coil of 2 times 400 turns, and you can see here it's four leads here, here and here. And we also made two four-stranded coils which are called quadrifiller of 4 times 200 turns. You can see four different wires coming out here and here. Finally, we actually made a quadrifiller coil where the strands are all plated or twisted around one another. And you can see four wires coming out here and here. Now the first thing we did was we measured the capacitance, capacitance of each coil using a multimeter. And the monofiller coil, of course, with no break shows no capacitance. The bifiller shows 22 nanofarads, the quadrifiller 13 nanofarads, the quadrifiller twisted like a helix 16 nanofarads, and that's for 800 turns of 0.5 millimeter PI coated wire. So this coil does have very high capacitance like Tesla said, much more than a monofiller, and even more than a, either quadrifiller, although they do have some capacitance. So now we're going to look to see how much electricity and current they make. Next, by using this simple device, which consists of 12 60 millimeter neomagnets spinning over wire coils, we just take any of the wire coils, like the monofiller, and place them under the magnet here. And we have a little drive motor, we just turn it on like this, put some power, and we start the magnet spinning. And we can see how much voltage or current they make. Here you can see the AC voltage is coming up to about 10 volts there. It'll go to 16 volts if we go faster. And we can also measure current in that way by switching to an ammeter. We can see how much current they make. That's about 360 milliamps. So we can do that for various RPMs and assay each coil in that very simple fashion. Very simple. And that was our monofiller coil. But we also did it for the bifiller, the quadrifiller, and the quadrifiller twisted. So, what were the results? We found these results, which are relevant to every electrical generator on Earth. How much voltage current is made, AC, generated by spinning 12 NSNS magnets, 60 times 5 millimeter Neo, over a single coil at 500 RPM? in terms of volts AC and milliamps AC. The monofiller gives 16 volts AC and 640 milliamps. The bifiller, 16.5, the same voltage, but 650 milliamps, about 50% more. The two quadrifiller, 12 point volts AC and 620 milliamps. So all of the coils with capacitance give more current at about the same voltage in a monofiller coil. That's what we found earlier. This monofiller coil wasn't working well in our generator experiments, so we made a bifiller and two quadrifiller of the same kind, monofiller to bifiller. So this extra capacitance by having these two wires next to one another seems to help electricity generation quite a lot. And I would recommend it for all generators on Earth. Finally, just to be thorough, we made one monofiller coil with a wooden former in the center 800 turns, another with an iron former in the center 800 turns, and see if one makes more electricity than the other because when you generate in the same system, because this is generally used in many devices. And at 300 RPM, we found the mono with wood inside gives us about 10 volts AC and 350 milliamps. The one with iron inside gives 11.5 volts, 480 milliamps. Again, a fee increase of about 50%. The difficulty of putting iron here is the magnets stick to it. It's very hard to work with. So it is good putting iron. However, using the bifiller coil is just as good or better. We went from 440 to all these other values 
by putting capacitors in the coils with two or four windings. So in summary, Nikola Tesla was right. Bifiller coils are better than monofiller coils for generating electricity, and people should start using them. Thank you very much.